folks, here we go. Huge main event right here. Anthony Walker exercise his demons and knock off Frenchie just a few weeks away on the night where he will challenge for the PCW World Heavyweight Championship. And there is, folks, the gauntlet for glory winner, but he has a tall order ahead of him tonight. Frenchie microphone and hopefully it's not playing on the running topic. The two-time world champion heading to the ring. And here we go, huge main event right here. Of course the history between these two has been well has been well documented. It goes all the way back to when Frenchie was a full-time competitor here in PCW. Walker won the Glory Cup, the first ever. Oh, are you kidding me, folks? The referee needs to rein that in right now. We're not even 30 seconds into this, and French is using a low blow. One, two. Oh, God, that would have, what a disaster that would have been for Walker, folks, that he had been pinned by Frenchie right there. He would have lost all momentum going into rest. Oh, no. The referee needs to gain control of this one. What a, I know Lockard really wants to exercise those demons and put that, oh no, not again, I can't even get my point across the inside cradle, One, come on, come on, two, come on. Count two. Oh, that is Frenchie's modus operandi in this match apparently is low blows and roll-ups. So, you know, he is a son of a bitch, but I mean... I guess in, in a way you have to give him his due. That his, oh no, oh, Locker, look at this, Locker. German suplex, points Frenchie high into the air. Locker going after the rotator cup of Frenchie right here. Locker, German suplex. One, two. It's, folks, I don't think it's enough for Locker to win this match, folks. Is representing PCW right here. Of course, Frenchie, a two time world champion, spent 16 out of the past 18 months with one world title or another. <clears throat> Frenchie kicks to the midsection, oh, takes him over with a snap suplex. And that's the thing about Frenchie, folks, is that he is one of the best wrestlers in the world, but he takes so many damn shortcuts that you tend to forget about it. And that's what he's looking to prove, to put on display at WrestleApocalypse 3 in his match against TM Veg, a battle of the best on the planet. Of course, I would have to really give that distinction to whoever wins the main event of WrestleApocalypse 3 because then they will be the PCW World Heavyweight Champion, which is the real barometer for who the best thing on, on the planet is. Rockford won the Glory Cup tournament back in season two, challenged for the PCW World Heavyweight Championship at season two Supercard event, and was the only person who Frenchie defended the PCW World Heavyweight Championship against without the assistance of the Seth Group or some other third party. And you know that has weighed on Locker. He's, he's been very outspoken about it. That, um, some of the losses, that, like I mean it really started a downhill skid for Locker in the, over the past season of PCW competition. And Locker right up until up until the Gauntlet for Glory match, had not won a match on pay-per-view in over a year. And it all started in that match against Frenchie at Season 2 Superfly. So for Locker to get it, to get pick up a win against Frenchie tonight would be a huge boost to his momentum going into WrestleOcalypse 3. Of course, on the flip, on the other side of that coin, what a huge loss of momentum would be. Look at that, grinding Frenchie down, punishing him with those shoulder blocks. Frenchie, the way Frenchie's head was just whipping around. And 
Lofton single leg crab and Frenchy makes it to the ropes. Gonna beat his ass, T Lock. Oh, look at the Frenchy with the stiff chops right here. Walker. Walker. Oh, keeps it simple with a drop tail hold. Maybe saving that discus, discus forearm for a more opportune time. Oh, yeah. I, I bet we know what's coming right here. Frenchy. Not to hail a taxi cab. Destination Concussion City. Ooh, throw it and kicks him right in the face with, directly with his shin. Frenchy forced to recover right here. Look at Frenchy may be calling for something right here. That kick right to the face may have just pissed him off. Look at this taking Locker to the high rent district. Lona kiss Frenchy Steiner. The Hurricane Rana from the top rope to Frenchy Steiner. And Locker now slow to get back to his feet. And Locker catches him right on the chin with the discus forearm. Oh God, and now driving the elbow right into the inside of the knee. Smart strategy by Locker to really maybe try to take away the set strike. And that, that's another reason, like, I, I can't, part of me can't fault Locker for taking this match. I mean, you know that Archie and Adam Mort Gullis trained together a lot, so... I mean, it you know, how Walker performs in this match against Frenchy will be a good barometer to how ready he is for Adam Gullis. The tenacity of Frenchy pisses me off quite frankly. Got no love for that man. I may respect his in-ring ability, but I did. He did keep me hostage in his basement for over a month. Right here and right there. Tie up, no. Walker blocked that tie up attempt. Walker calling Obo tie up transition. Oh, tried to hit the snap suplex. Frenchy was ready for it. Calling the best on the planet for nothing, folks. He doesn't call himself that, rather. No, I don't think anybody else really calls him that. And then Walker locked, wisely hanging onto the ropes and oh, makes the most of that opportunity right there. Walker, well, Frenchy, Frenchy rather, firing right back into it. Walker, Walker, look at this. T-Lock 2.0, a modified camel clutch. It's a rarity that Walker breaks that one out, but he was set up perfectly, so why the hell not? And Frenchy trying to create some space. Oh, God, knocked it down with that right hand, and now look at that. Driving the knee right into the knee. Did he try to take away the super kick? Whoa, Lockard looked like he was going to hit T-Lock 2.0 again, but Frenchy was ready for it that time. Frenchy tie up, sending Lockard to the ropes. Oh, oh Lockard, oh, no, Lockard. Frenchy had that one. Oh, no. One. Oh, no. Two. Oh, Lockard out on his feet on the Three. outside. Oh, Frenchy, oh, no. Oh, two. Three. Going helo by the... That Six. son of a bitch, the leader of the Seven. Lubeck Lucha Libre. Eight. Tope con Hilo. No! Seth Strick on the Ten. outside! Eleven. Oh, God. Twelve. What a blow to Lockard's momentum it would be to lose this Fourteen. match by count out. And he lo Lockard cannot afford any losses right now. From a momentum standpoint, but look at that. Oh, Frenchy tried to... Tried the flying crossbody. Lockard was ready for it. German suplex with a bridge. And will this be enough? Oh, and Frenchy kicks, digs deep and kicks down out of that one. Lockard into the ropes. Oh, Frenchy, oh, God. Frenchy was ready for that double forearm. And Frenchy, high rent district. Oh, and catches him with that flying crossbody. And right now, Frenchy has the momentum, and Lockard. He's gonna have to dig deep. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Ooh, uh, there's that somersault kick right to the chin. Look at that! Oh no, Walker! Walker countered the sleeper. Walker trying to battle back into this one. Oh, there's a tilt -o double underhook backbreaker pinfall attempt. Black and will cover though. Oh, and Frenchy kicks out. 
big mistake by Walker, not hooking the leg there, but he seems to still have the momentum, though. Hooking the leg this one, time, though. Two, one. Frenchie, once again, is able to dig deep and power out of that pinning combination. It just makes me sick that we have so many Lugo Future Libre competitors head into the pay window. Look at that, a shooting star press. Oh, this is it. Oh, One, no. Two. Oh, no. Oh, oh, yes. Locker digs deep and kicks out. Showing some of that fire that we saw in the Gauntlet for Glory match. He is now. Oh, oh. Locker, the record holder in the Brent. Gauntlet for Glory now. For longest survival time, even though he only had one elimination. It's the only elimination he needed to make. Locker set into the ropes. Oh, holding on to the ropes. Oh, Frenchie caught that running of forearm, though. Sending him up. Nope, sends him into the ropes. Oh, maybe going for it again. Blow and a kiss. There's the Frenchie Steiner once again. Locker, oh no, oh no. And Locker digs deep and kicks out at a late, late two. And this match will continue. No, no Walker. Walker, oh, oh, look at Walker rolls through, rolls through. But Frenchie managed to get his his feet into the ropes to get out of that one. What a beautiful finish that would have been for Walker. Frenchie's slow to get up after that Saito suplex. Attacking the shin of Frenchie. Smart strategy trying to take away the Seth strike. We're about to try to once again, once again attacking the shin in the area. Frenchie. Oh, Frenchie trying to stay alive in this one. That. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at. Oh, here it comes. Super kick, the best super kick in the business, but wow. Wow, folks, what tenacity by Frenchie and Locker hits the discus forearm. Oh, no. How many low blows is that, folks? I mean, I know Locker wants this win so bad, but the referee may need to step in and call this a no contest with how many blatant fouls Frenchie has committed in this match. Nice Locker. Top rope hits the missile drop kick. Somehow Frenchy stays on his feet though. Had the high ground. Frenchy, Frenchy, look at that. Look at that pin and combination by Frenchy. Come on, come on. Yes! Walker kicks out of that one. Are we looking at the next PCW World Heavyweight Champion, folks? Obviously, this match has no bearing whether or not Locker will be competing, be challenging for the World Heavyweight Championship or not. That's a done deal. Of course, if you've noticed, by now, usually usually by now, we've, we'd be having some Lubeck Lucha Libre interference, but Frenchie sent out the tweet a few days ago ordering that no one from Lubeck Lucha Libre get involved in this match. So far that has remained true. Come one, on, come on, two, come on. Oh, yes. Folks, I hope Brady doesn't want any more kids because Locker has taken a lot of damage to his nether regions. Oh, no, not again. I'm surprised Lockhart is still in this match, folks. Another flying crossbody, the second of the match. Locker down on his feet now. Frenchie. Frenchie was ready for it. Locker was about to hit the discus forearm. Frenchie was ready for it. Frenchie up and over. Oh, and Frenchie keeping it simple with the shoulder tackle. Yes, once, again. once again with that somersault kick. These two, these two not backing down an inch. This Frenchie, Frenchie caught it. Oh no! Come the hell on, folks! Frenchie, this may be the beginning of the end. Tie up. Look at this. 
There's the octopus stretch, but Walker quickly... Oh, no, not again! Oh, God. Bringing him back around. No! Come on! Oh, no. Oh, Fritchie. Fritchie with the crippler crossface now. Walker was able to scramble to the ropes. But, oh! No, no, come on! No! Walker... Walker needs to do something and do something right now. He is in trouble, folks. Seth Strike. He has to have been punched in the in the penis. What? 15 times in this match? It's ridiculous. I know Walker doesn't want this match to come down to a come down to something like that. He wants to beat Frenchie tonight, but he has the biggest opportunity of his life in a few weeks, folks. He needs to be thinking about that. Oh, German suplex with the bridge. Come on, come on, come on. Go do it! Oh, no, 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 no. Rain right into it inside cradle. Go do it! Thank God, folks. Thank God that Lockwood was able to kick out of that one. Lockwood forearm. Played Frenchie's head in the canvas with that DDT. Locker trying to keep the pressure on here. He finally is able to get some kind of offense, and Walker, Walker catches him with a double forearm there. Frenchie, oh, no, Frenchie blocked it. Oh, Frenchie, another roll up, another inside cradle. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Walker tried to hit the clothesline, but coming up. Couldn't get it. Caught the right hand, though. Frenchie, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. I'm surprised Frenchie had the strength to get him up there. Frenchie may be calling for something big right here. Oh, no, Locker, Locker. Oh, look at that. Beautiful counter by Frenchie. He's setting him up. And once again, once again, the octopus stretch center of the ring, too. I don't think Locker can find the ropes from this position either. Locker had, had the dig deep to fight out of that one because he was not going to be able to find the ropes there. The Walker going to look at a German suplex. Walker, Walker with an inside cradle of his own. Will this be enough? Oh, damn it. Come on. Frenchie tie up. Sends Walker to the ropes. Oh, Walker lays him out with that Yakuza kick. This has One, to be it, folks. Two, Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Frenchie was able to kick out after catching that boot right to the face. Discus for no Locker. Locker could connect with it. Frenchie ducked it. This. Now Locker driving the knee, the elbow rather, into the inner thigh. Locker stands him back up. Oh god, this might be it. We've seen this by Locker before. Sleeper transitions. Here it is. T-Lock, T-Lock, T-Lock. Frenchie can't get to the ropes. Frenchie can't get to the ropes. He can't make... And the lights are back. Oh no. Oh no. God damn it, it's Matt Mills! Matt Mills with the matter of fact! Oh god. Oh, what the hell is this all about? Oh no. No, oh, another low blow! Seth Strike! No, 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 no! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Damn it! Wow. All of Walker's momentum has just been shot. Oh, God. Oh, God. Matt and Frenchie are done. Matt and Frenchie are not done. Cut the camera back. Cut the camera back. Oh, no. Setting him up. Oh, no. Oh, God. There. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, pile driver to Walker. Oh, God. Somebody get out here. Folks, did you ever think that you would see the day where Matt Mills would be helping Frenchie to win a match here at PCW? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ, what a powerbomb. Oh, 
God. Oh, man. Oh, 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 God. Locker trying to fight back. Locker tried to fight back here. God, but the numbers game, folks. Look at that kick. Forbes and Walker back to his feet. The match is over, folks. Security, somebody get down here before we have a serious injury on our hands. It's bad enough that Walker has lost his momentum and now has went 0-2 oh, against Frenchie. But, I mean, he has the biggest match of his career in a few weeks, folks. He needs to... Oh, no! Plants him right on the top of his head with that pile driver. Come on, kid. You got to get out of there. Don't bother, oh no. Walker, just get out of the ring, just leave. Uh, the Walker's, oh no. Laid him out with that uppercut. Uh, Frenchy, Frenchy now with the tarantula again. Oh God. Walker saying uncle, just surrendering basically. Right, look at this. Chin Buster. Walker in the corner. Oh no, no. Oh, look at this. This is this is bullshit, folks. Somebody get out here. Oh my god. My god, what what are they gonna stop? You've done enough, haven't you proved your point? The PCW World Heavyweight Champion Adam Orgullis, the cousin of Tony Locker, the man who will be defending against Tony Locker at, the, at WrestleOcalypse 3. Oh, God. Oh, geez, look at them greet each other here. Oh, God, my Matt. Matt going back. The, the Morgullis and Frenchie talking something over. Matt off the ropes. Oh, no. Not another chin buster. Frenchie. Frenchie, oh my god, what? Uh, making the throat slash taunt. Uh, Frenchie with a shooting star press. No! God, how many? It has to be like 20. Oh god, not again. Not again! Jesus Christ! What the what the hell? No! Stop it! God damn it! Somebody help! Somebody help that man! God, what is was this Frenchie's motive all along? Oh, Matt lays him up with a clothesline. Was this Frenchie's motive all along to challenge Locker to this match? To set, was this it? Was the fix in the whole time? God, now more Gullis showing Locker the belt. Locker can barely stand, folks. No! More Gullis lays out Locker with the World Heavyweight Championship belt. Frenchie laying the boots in. God. Oh, no, no. Oh, God, stopping Lockard's knee right into the mat. Oh, God damn it. Not again. Not again. God, God damn it. Lockard's knee may be destroyed here. Oh, Frenchie. Frenchie. Frenchie just showboating now. Not another low blow. No! God damn it, another Seth strike and Lockard might... Look at that, Lockard, Lockard is out cold. Lockard is, you've done enough, you knocked him out. Oh no, this is, this is getting serious, folks. This is getting serious. Oh no. Morgulis lays him out with the belt once again. No, Morgulis forcing Lockard. Oh, Jesus Christ, the spinning back fist. The move that he... Uh, now Lockard is obviously unconscious again. Not that they care. They're just forcing his dead weight. Oh, God damn it. That's enough. Lockard is in serious trouble. He may have a serious injury. He may have a concussion right now. God. Oh, not this. Matter of fact. Folks, this is... This is awful. Simply awful. Morgullis, what's he doing here? Oh, Seth strike by Morgullis. That locker back to his feet on instinct. Another one. <laughs> oh, 
And look at that, <laughs> that camo clutch. That camo clutch. And now Matt, Matt Mills adding insult to in injury. Now what's Frenchie doing? Oh, what the hell? Made a motion like he was taking a piss in his face. Oh, God damn it. Look at that. Now Locker just trying to say uncle. My God, folks. This was an absolute mugging. I don't think they really... Frenchie picks up the win, but... I think it was about much more than that tonight, folks. The axis of evil standing tall. Makes me sick. And once again, telling the PCW faithful to kiss their ass. Don't even play their music. Let's just... Fuck it. Good night, folks.